Welcome back to Dinosaur Game. Yeah. We're here, everybody. <coughs> I am excited. I <coughs> guess we're doing this. Yeah. Um, we are not recording desktop audio because it doesn't want to do it for some reason. There you go. There you go. Hey, Shadows, let's, let's go. Funny Dinosaurs, let's go. Titan, what's going on? Let's turn us all the way up. Can you go back so I can give my thoughts on the intro screen? Which I already gave before we started. No, because it'll take like five minutes of us <laughs> sitting idle for it to do that. I'm gonna shit. Dig a dig. Dig a dig. Dig a dig. You um, can't do that. No. So you, I literally can't. Um, so you might be wondering, why is there an already a save file on here? Uh, that's for something that I wanted to show way later. Um, and also, I needed a save file that had DLC on it. So shout out to Subpar at Best on Reddit. Yes, that's the username for dumping their ROM. I will not be using it for this playthrough. I will not be using the save file for this playthrough, but we could. One thing that this game introduces: New Game Plus. You can start the game with all the Viva source from your fully completed save file. You know that same thing we've wanted Pokemon to do since Gen 3. Yeah, this game came out in 2010, by the way. Uh, we're gonna start from scratch, though. What's everybody doing? I'm so excited. We got the options. We can set the message speed to fast, set the auto run on, test my microphone button. Ballin? Yeah, it's poggers. I'm pogging so hard right now. Story mode, boys. Sorry, I'm like This game also introduces the concept of gender. Gross. <laughs> Do. Do, boy. Do we want to be a boy or he a girl? He looks so much cooler. Like, the girl is like, oh my god. <laughs> I like to eat chocolate. Why <laughs> are their zippers so fucking huge? That's the least of my problem. <laughs> what about dinosaurs is like, hmm, yes, let's pick a gender. Well, because the first game, you only, you didn't even have the option to pick, remember? I know, but it's like, bro. Uh, do you want to know what their default names are? It's going to be a pun, I'm sure. Well, the boy's default name is Dino, mm -hmm. and the girl's default name is, uh, Dina. I hate it. Boy, Dina? girl, what do you, what's, what's chat thinking? Dino. Boy, unlike the original game, we do not get to change, like, the colors of their outfit or anything. What you see is what you get. It's just you get to pick your, your, uh, your chromosomes. Druid! What's going on? I hope everything looks and sounds okay. I was fucking with the settings because I had to redo all the uh, the DS soldered on settings. You had to redo the Digga setting. The Digga Dig. The, the Nintendo it Dig. Better not be Digga Dig. The Nintendo. Digga out. The Nintendo Digga Dig DS settings. Um. Anything, boys? Girls? Which one? Hello. I meant to say anything for boy or girl, and my my my. <laughs> The brain just stopped. Wow. I'm being slandered. I'm play along with girl. Okay, one vote for boy from Shay, one vote for girl from Lax. Just saying you're digging done. <laughs> it has been six and a half minutes. <laughs> it has been six and a half minutes and Shay already died. <laughs> Another vote for girl. What? She looks like the most basic bitch. At least the boy looks cool. Let me pick who looks cool, and then I'll pick fucking. Oh, yeah. All right, we got so uncomfy. Anyone? It's gonna be a girl. I feel it. I was gonna say, going once, going twice. All right. Yeah, Dino. Oh. But don't worry, for our purposes. It's gonna be pixel, right? Of course. Oh. Dig a pixel. Dig a pixel. Dixel. Dixel. No Dixel. Pog. Let's pog them. 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 Let
So now we also get to choose our default icon. We can choose the boy icon even if we're a girl, and vice versa. I mean, that's cool. Okay, fine. Um, I'll just... I'll just go with the default. We get more icons as the game progresses. I basically never fuck with it. Oh. Yeah, so this game's kind of pixely. This game is a little pixely. It probably looks better for you guys because it's not as blown up. <laughs> I, I say probably because honestly, on an original DS, this is just sort of what it looked like. <laughs> no, they're dinosaurs. How, how are they flying? They're doing. At those angles. They're doing their best. Hey, Pixel, why are you going to stand around and stare at the scenery, huh? Quit stalling and get over here, Pixel. He could almost be Oh, God, that running animation. <laughs> we, yeah, we are going full tilt into that run. They say wild Vivas was on top of this mountain. Uh, no, it, it's, it's a little rough. I want to say it's deliberate to hide how cheap the animations are because, like, you're, you're all, every character is constantly, like, moving like that. Ah, uh, how's the scenery? Oh, polygon birds are polygon. Okay, no, that part is the fact that this game had, like, a 75% budget. Kill yourself, taunt! Going on over this, a Vivasaur is a dinosaur to revive from fossils. Man, I never thought I'd see one with my very own eyes. But come on, we're not leaving until we get some wild Vivasaurs of our very own. Race it up! I could fuck with settings in the in the soldered on thing to make it like not as pixely, and I tried, but then it just looked blurry, and it kind of was worse. Yeah. I don't see any users anywhere. Somebody must have been lying to me. What, Please tell me it's what a T Rex. That? What's going on? Ready to eat his ass. No T Rex. That's so. That's so stereotypical. Okay, that's so fine. Pache. A Viva Rex. Or no, whatever. it was still called a T Rex. You fucking banana head. You're a banana head. Oh my god, it's actually cutscene. Oh my god, it's a dinosaur. This is a Pokemon, Tony. Can't just throw balls with dinosaurs. That, that's an Allosaurus! I kinda like it. It's gonna eat it. Yeah, if a whole game could look like this, then. Yeah. Still waiting for them to make a Switch fossil fighting game. It's not gonna happen. You are. Well, I mean, I don't know. People have been really like this. Right. Oh my god, he has a third. Oh, it's a pterodactyl. Jump on, Bojo. Uh, why are you... You fucking hurt me, get a move on now. This is too important of a character for you to be doing that much the give entire time. Shit. No, give him the southern accent, but actually try. I yeehaw. Hold on, Mars. You, you both alright. He's southern, he doesn't speak well. I look like a me character <laughs> if I was Kichibi. Them hops, though. He's got some bad ups. He really jump. That voice is. No, that voice is 100% accurate. But... Oh my god! You're Joe! No shit, that's me. Surprised you knew my handle, kid. You follow me on Instagram? Of course I <laughs> You can follow me at Pixelate Broadcast on Twitch.tv. <laughs> the sad thing is, I can think of like seven other characters in this game that would shill their Instagram as a greeting. Um, of course I know you. You're the greatest fossil player in the whole world. Your fossil ball skills are legendary. You're Joe Wild West. I can't believe I'm actually talking to you. This is amazing. I must sound like an old fucking nerd, huh? Oh yeah, right. There's a dinosaur trying to eat us. That Allosaurus is madder than a sack full of hornets. We can't leave the mountain all riled up like that or folks will be a heap of trouble. <laughs> Ain't fun. no other choice. We gotta subdue the critter the critter in a fossil battle. You having fun doing that voice? I have dementia. <laughs> Cut me some slack. How about it, small fry? You think you small fry? That's the part of this that's gonna fuck you up, small fry is like a normal I'll even thing to say. I'll one of my dino medals for the fight. How about it? Oh, my stomach. It hurts real bad. I think you're just a pussy. It must have been that rotten banana I ate this morning. Yeah, that's it. Ugh. 
I hope you really like that one joke from Mystery Dungeon when your partner pretended to have a stomach ache. I really want to fight, but I'm about to shit myself, so Pixel's problem. Oh, good God. Uh, fair enough, I guess. I'll be letting you mind down a little instead. Alright, so I'm begging you not to not, th let me handle this. From... I got four of them, just so you can take whichever one strikes you fancy. Okay, so this is gonna... I'm just gonna blip through him talking about the starters, so you don't need to do this voice for this bit. Uh, yeah, we have... <laughs> Missile, how's it going? Sudden trumpets are very loud. Yeah, uh, let me let me turn down the gamut tiny bit more. How's that? Maybe a little more. Well, I'm asking them. I can't really hear that. Bit more. Okay. How's that? Still loud. We're picking. Uh, well, you see, well, give me a minute. Let me. This in here. God, that is really loud. Fuck, I'm sorry, guys. We're we're all the way up. That's a thing. You gotta love those MIDI instruments. <clears throat> Alright, I'll fuck with like the sound settings in the game in a minute. So we have a choice of four starter. Uh, I almost said Pokemon. Four starter Vivasaurs. And unlike Pokemon, all of these starters are available to you at some point in the game after this. Like, towards the middle of the game. So not even that late. So if you change your mind, or or you're thinking, oh, I don't want to miss out on this thing, you're not going to miss out on it. At all. Okay. So we got four choices. Aer Aerosteon is a wind attribute. Mostly, uh, you can see like how their stats are spread up there. Power type, the overall flows with sharp claws. Why does he look like he's taking a power shit? No, that's just how dinosaurs look. We have Toba Titanosaur, a well-balanced Vivasaur. You have more fashionable types. It's a water element. Sin- I don't know- I love him! S Sintasaurus. Uh, this Aww. one's more of a support one. And Demetrodon, the fire element. Um, I think he can, like, does statuses and shit. Now- I like the yellow guy. Now, here's the thing. For, like, Pokemon and shit, I always give you guys, like, the poll and all that, but A, I knew most of you guys weren't gonna know what the fuck I was even asking for. And B, we're picking arrows. Rip. Falsifier's proving its supremacy to Pokemon yet again. <laughs> um, cause here's the thing. Due to mechanics that will not be introduced until later, that I will ask all of you who are familiar with this game to not spoil, because I like seeing Shay's reaction to the horrible bullshit that I went through as a child with all these fucking games. Air having Eros in our party is the key to getting my favorite Vivasaur ever, and I'd rather just have him from the damn start instead of having to go look for the bastard in the middle of the game. Now grease my pants and <laughs> what the fuck? Grease my pants and call hey, me slick. Hey, banana boy, come grease my pants. Grease my pants and call me slick is what he now said. Now remember, once you throw that dino melon at Allosaurus, your Vavasaur be unleashed, and this is how yeah, yeah. they bond, and you trust, and have fun, and I'm going to go smoke a blunt. Goodbye. Why do I let you do voices? <laughs> so make sure you see how dino metals work. As I say, I still have many questions, but whatever. The game crashes. Shut up. <laughs> All right. So as you can see, the battle uh, UI looks a little bit different than before, but it looks a lot cleaner. It is. Um, our Vivasaur is on the left. The enemy is on the right. That's weird. There's our life point ga gauge. If our life point gauge reaches zero, we lose, because that's how life points work. Um, the height- no, new to this game, the Viva- the team with the highest total speed goes first. You know, like every other RPG I ever fucking made, I still don't know what was up with the first game. It's trying to be different. I guess. You attack him first, now ain't that a kick in the pants. I Why is he obsessed with his pants? He's southern. They just speak in fucking idioms. I really fucking love my pants and I so love grease. So just them. like just like before, <clears throat> just like in the first game you get FP every turn and that's how you use your attacks. FP is shared between all of your Vivasaurs cuz eventually we'll be fighting with three at once and we can use wind blast. Because Allosaurus is a neutral Vivasaur, he is not weak to anything, but he does not do extra damage to anything either. Vivasaur can only attack once per turn. And then we end the turn. 
Curly Wallace. No, stop it. Joe is a good man. So then they get FP and they get to attack. It's a very simple back and forth. You might notice a little arrow with the star there. I will explain that later. Because it doesn't really matter for the tutorial. We're just, we're just fucking playing happy slaps over here. This game also has an auto battle feature? Don't. I basically don't trust auto battle in any RPGs. Yeah. Oh look, it's prehistoric Pokemon. Hey Michael, how's it going? Prehistoric Pokemon. I wish I came up with that first. <laughs> that Allosaurus finally calmed down and went back in his dino middle. Now job, small fry, you did good. So many jokes I want made, but I can't because spoilers. Well, I appreciate you holding back. I'm fucking pissed off. What's wrong, Michael? What's going on, bud? What's wrong, Michael? Look at that fossil by like a pro pixel. You're awesome. Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, my stomach doesn't hurt anymore. Yeah, well, who cares about that? Am I right? What's up with the pussy sidekicks in this game series? I mean, the thing is, you say that, but at least Rosie was trying. She was just an idiot. This Allosaurus was abandoned by some cruel fighter. I reckon that's why he got his shorts in a book. Aww. Vivasaurus need to be with fossil fighters. They know they can drift. Some asshole decided to call me I was dead asleep. Like, I mean dead, and I'm middling back to sleep. Oh, damn. I'm sorry, yeah. buddy. You like Todd? No. Too bad. <laughs> If they're abandoned, they go feral and their true nature emerges. That's why I'm here, actually. The Fighter Association asked me to come round up some ro 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 Fucking up my accents. Yeah, do you want me to do it? No. <clears throat> I'm Todd, and Pixel, my best friend. We'll always cheer for you on TV, Joe. Our genius can create fossil fighters just like you. <laughs> you bunch of small fry are gonna make me blush. But I ought to try aim a little higher. Don't try to be as good as me. Try to do better. Well, I suppose I think I should be seeing you two at home, but I ain't quite done with my job yet, so you're coming with me, bitches. No, not really. True, Rock didn't try their best. Is that Crocodile Dundee? No, that's <laughs> Al- No, that's Dinosaur <laughs> Dundee. Crikey, mate, we got a Vivasaur. <laughs> He's a real beauty. But I y'all seem- Whoa. <laughs> Whiplash. But y'all seem pretty capable, so I trust y'all can make it home. Watch out. Fucking virgins. Aw, oh, bacon! I turn forgot to turn my dino metal I loaned you. Oh my god, Bab, you are having like a stroke every <laughs> sentence and a half. Please just let me So do is it. every <laughs> sign. I'll tell you what, Pixel, what if you keep it as my way of saying thanks for all the help? Not being a puss bag. Oh man, if only my stupid stomach hadn't started hurting. Listen up, smile fries. If you love your dinosaurs and share their passion for fossil, ba fossil battles, then you can accomplish anything. I like how you're saying the southern contractions that aren't real contractions just fine, but then you see the words fossil battles, and that's where you fuck up somehow. I look forward to the day you both become proper fossil fighters. See what, see what I'm saying? <laughs> but for now, I gotta mosey on down to the trail. Mosey, mosey. Oh shit, I gotta slick my pants, Mosey. Yeah, Mosey. you read you read the sentence, grease my pants and call me slick without batting an eye. But the term Vivasaur fucks you up. So who's your partner, Thomas? Uh no, this is this is Todd. He he's here. Wow, he's got advice from Joe Wild West himself. No choice now, Pixel. We have to become fighters. Yeah, I know you want it bad, but not as bad as me. Next time I see Joe, I'm gonna be a full fledged fighter. I'm sure you are, kid. Ah, Toby. Oh god, here we go again. I'm so happy. Two years later. If they just gave her boobs, I'm out. No, our design is the same. Oh good. <laughs> just all of a sudden, we're the same height. We just have like age cups for no reason. <laughs> I can't believe it's finally gonna happen, Pixel. My heart is beating like a jackhammer. We're gonna be in Joe's very own torment. The Cal. Oh god. I just. It hurts me. I don't know how to pronounce half these words. Cal. Caliest. Cup? I was confident until I actually had to read it. 
Oh, the... I don't know. All the cool fighters are called the Cup for short. Thank God. It's Speaking like... of cups, I'm crocheting bra cups. Same... I'm trying to make a bra <laughs> same... out of crochet. <laughs> same hype but M cups? We'd be rolling places. Fucking me in fifth grade. Joe would be amazed that <laughs> no, we made it through the preliminaries and came all the way here. Especially because we each only have one Vivasaur still. Are you serious? I can see the fossil park. That's what the cup's going to be. I'm going to nut derogatory. I mean, to be fair, there's not exactly a ton of places we can just revive dinosaurs. Ribular town. Mm-hmm. Ribular town. Oh my god, a map that doesn't look like shit. I fucking know, right? <laughs> oh, good god, this game. Oh my god, what is that? Is that a person? <laughs> How does one nut derogatory? Just shout a slur as you're doing it. Welcome to Castel- Cast- Walk into the fossil park, a prehistoric world of dreams, dinosaurs, and adventure. Was this still an original DS? Uh, yes sir, yes it was. There is one other game that was made for this franchise for the 3DS and it looks worse than this. Don't talk about it. This park is founded by none other than Joe Wild West, a superstar fossil so fighter. So Joe Wild West is a bad guy. It is comprised- <laughs> He is composed of three islands, Ribular Island, Cranial Isle, and Ilium Island. Visitors are welcome to eva uh, evacuate. <laughs> welcome to <laughs> You're welcome to evacuate, leave. Welcome to excavate fossil fire maybe you as they like. And of course, there's plenty of fossil fighting to be done. But for now, please make yourselves at home in the lush green Ribular town. Beep, beep, boop. This looks decent for, yeah, it's, yeah, it's rough. Again, I almost want to say the, like the over pixelization was deliberate in order to hide, because you remember the original models, they were solid, bad. they were bad, they were like paper mache looking. And I'm wondering if that was meant to cover it somehow, but Place of Dreams and Death Not Redacted, it's rough, but I kind of like it. I do because of nostalgia, frankly. This is an important public service announcement from Calio Steel Fossil Park. Registration for the Cal Steel Cup, it'll be ending soon. Fossil fighters are not yet registered, should enroll at the fighter station immediately. Beep, beep, boop. Oh fuck, they're gonna have the registration. We have to get to the fire station right now. I'm yeah, exactly. I'm used to it, right? Like I, I fully admit I fully admit this is rough, but I like the dancing water found in the back. Fighter station is building right behind us. Fighter station is an integrated facility serving all your fossil fighter needs. This is a cleaning room for fossils, also in the fossil stadium, fossil battles are held. What is a cleaning party emporium? That sounds awful. That's for multiplayer. That's for like Susan's. No, that's for multiplayer. Oh. Come on, stop standing around and go to the register already. Wait, please, something very important I have to tell you. To open the main menu, press the X button or touch the icon on the bottom right of the screen to say select she's telling us how to save. Yeah, no, that's for multiplayer, so you can clean fossils together. Wait, is the funny robot back? Uh, you'll see. Maybe. So let's, um... So we can take a look at our model here. I can rotate. Oh, God. Rotate pixel. <laughs> like, I wish they made her hair different. The hair is Like, rough. the hair looks bad. Everything else looks pretty okay so far, which is honestly a little surprising. <laughs> you open the menu and time just stops. Oh no, that's my favorite thing. You're just running, you're running, and then, oh. Now we're gonna do you our, have been stopped. We're gonna save. Okay, you know what? Let me fuck with the sound settings in the game. Maybe if I make it quieter in the game, and then I can turn it back up. This is a water <laughs> Options. Turn those to like that. DS games tend to be very loud. No, go no BS. Turn that back up a bit. So, so many options here. Hey man, there's more options than some games give you. All right, testing, testing. Wait. Here. How do we sound in comparison to the game? I think it sounds all right. I actually, uh, okay, I'm gonna turn the game down just a tiny, tiny bit. Hi. All right, how does that, how's that everybody? Sounds good? All right, ballin'.
Sorry I blew your fucking eardrums out earlier. Michael, the thousand bits are probably have these left over from the pissing contest. Oh, thank you, my man. Thank Appreciate you. you. Alright, so let's go register. Man, our our hair just has more jiggle physics on it than anything. Look at that. She could fly. That's why she only has one one pony uh, one pigtail. If she has two, she goes running just Hello and welcome. I take you one into the ca the, the cup. In any case, may I please have your name? Including the receptionist. Thank you very much, Pixel. Your qualification through the preliminaries has been confirmed. Please wait here. Someone will be along shortly to instruct you on our facilities and rules. At least it's her hair that's jiggle physics. Very true. Better the hair that jiggle physics. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You both you both are spitting facts. Hey there, I'm Stella, the staff leader on Ribular Island. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't have fucking like tutorial or whatever the fuck her name was from before. But. So you guys made it here in time, since, but since you did, I'm going to start the tour most important place. Like a oh yeah, most important place. I think that is. Like a toilet. Here's the shitter. It is an important place. The game seems a bit loud, at least to me. Alright. Look at the most important place for fighters, the cleaning room. This is a cleaning machine. It carves fossils out of their rocky prisons. That's fucked up. And then this machine provides me from those fossils. Oh yeah, you know what? I meant to mention this during the starter bit. Um, you can you you can pick whatever works and you'll beat the game fine. After you do the cleaning tutorial, you're guaranteed to get Tricera, who is a water Vivasaur. So if you think it would be kind of lame to have to start with two of the exact same element, maybe don't pick Toba. It, like, does not matter, but, like... Yeah. Yeah. Or if you want all water, I guess. Definitely pick. If you tilt your head sideways and squint your eyes real tight, you can almost make out facial features on the walking polygons. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pretty high-tech stuff. Try to stay up to date. Such machines may be a bit different from what you're used to. I'll explain how to operate them now, so please pay attention. The cleaning is basically the exact same as the original Fossil Fighters. Oh, wow. Only it looks better. Yeah, it looks like the bottom screen is exactly the same, the top's different. It's the same amount of information, just presented better. Anyways, oh boy, I can't wait for Man-Made Horrors while my comprehension was slowly progressing this sadly unremembered DSRPG game. Yep. So, I can explain this better than fucking Stella can. So you have 90 seconds to clean the fossil rock. You have an x-ray to see what's inside. You have a hammer for the heavy lifting. And then once you get to the soft innards, you have your drill. Glad you're playing this game. I'm glad I'm playing this too, Gaholi. How you doing, my man? Hey. What's up, Gaholi? The white bone emerging? That's the fossil. The bones start appearing. Switch over the drill. You want to be careful not to damage the fossil. You can damage the fossil a little bit. Um, as long as you get a score over 60, you will get... Or, I think it's even over 50. You will get the fossil. The better you get, the more points you get for your Vivasaur. Which gives increases its level, blah blah blah. Is the blue how much is damaged? No, the blue is good. Oh. If we damage it a bit, you'll see red appear on the top. And if that goes over the line, then we lose. Um So fun fact, since we're talking about the XP and stuff, uh, Fossil Fighters has raised the level Fossil Fighters Champions has raised the level cap. In the original Fossil Fighters, the max level is twelve, in this game it is twenty. Weird. Um, Vivasaurs also will learn attacks by leveling up instead of you needing to integrate fossil parts. It's still Thank good. God. It's still a good idea to integrate fossil parts because it's extra XP and all that, but you don't need to technically. So like, you're not going to be screwed if like you just cannot find that last fossil piece. Which is awesome. Normally, you'd be blowing into the microphone to get rid of the like the dust, but I have a soldered on piece of equipment so I can press a button instead of blowing your guys' drums out. If you get over a 90, you get a smashing success, which is just there for bragging rights. There's a ghost in my home? Seduce it. I agree with Michael Yoshi. How you doing, buddy? What do you mean there's a ghost in your home? Smashing success. Frankly, I don't even know why I'm here. Anyway, keep it up. Nice. Yeah, so this will always be a Tricera skull. It's my turn now. Please tell me he fails. No, Todd's not that dumb. Clean the fossils is the easy part, honestly. Excellent job, you two. Now let's go revive your fossils. Mm -hmm. 
So you need it, just like the first game, you need to have a head fossil in order to revive a Vivasaur. Oh, he's cute! <laughs> and you can see, like, the models are still kind of squared off, like, if you look at, like, his feet. It looks more stylized, though. Right. It doesn't look like, oh my god, it doesn't look yeah. like the walking models. <laughs> but now, uh, we can rotate. Yay, I can rotate. see him in all his glory. Do I they have toe beans? God, no, not this one. Damn. It's better than being alone. It's good because there are a couple of view stories you can get only their head. That is true. Man, I love having Spectrum internet not fucking work. Ooh. Um, Another thing that is different from this game, the support effects. You might notice it's only 4% and 1%. Support effects now scale with your level. So instead of having like a brand new Beavisaur reduce the enemy stats by 90 fucking percent, you have to work for it. You have to get them to max level if you want, or, or at least close to max level if you want full support effects. That's cool. Yeah, but like, they're always like this. I don't think, like, his will always increase attack in lower speed. He's not going to suddenly get like a defense, but I think. Reading red receipts, but no replying. Yes, my house is haunted, but that's the way I want it. Reading red receipts, but no replying. See, I know I do what you're fucking talking about. Yoshi. I don't know, man. Oh, hey, a Viva so you can only get in the original post game. Yep, that is true. That is very true. One survivor Vivasaur is contained in the form of a dino metal. Here you go. These are your very own dino metals. So we also get that Tricera. If you want to practice cleaning before the opening ceremony, let's talk to Greta over there. So you can practice cleaning as often as you like. I mean, you just can't revive Vivasaur from a practice fossil. They're plastic. Explain the rules for the fossil fighting. Head over to the fossil stadium. I'm going to apologize. There's going to be like a lot of blabbing for the first like hour or so because... Where's the start robot? Start of RPG. You'll see the robot soon. This way. Fossil Stadium is through this door. Fossil Stadium. Oh, I'm so. I'm so excited I could puke. That's unnecessary. Let's try to do that. Our floors are very clean. Anyway, please follow me. <laughs> Maybe I can't watch stream. I'm still on train for you sucks. Oh, rip Yoshi. I think it's just okay with children fighting with, with dev, been training dinosaurs. Oh, because this world's fucking rad. Fossil Stadium's common room. And fighters under the cup often gather here. And then you get a notice about an upcoming match. Be sure to come right away. Yeah, I'm Devin Straight and I'm here to give you free. He's just the tutorial guy. I, I'm not reading Devin's fucking text. We're kind of like. Devin. The screen is where you choose the Beaver Swords to come you into battle. Here you can see the Beaver Swords in your active team. Your opponent's Beaver Swords shown up here, just like in the first game. Three Beaver Swords in this section, ones that'll appear in battle. The orange colored section is called the Attack Zone, or the AZ. Press the shoulder button to vomit! The blue card section is the Support Zone, or the SZ. Beaver Swords in the AZ receive support effects from any Beaver Sword in the SZ. The green section is for reserves, same as before. Here's where you choose your team's formation at the start of battle. Oh, that's cool. Your team can take the Jurassic Formation by putting two Vivasaurs in the attack zone. That's not something we can do before. Or you can choose the Cambrian Formation by putting two Vivasaurs into the support zone. Alright. Examine the other team carefully. Pick your Vivasaurs in the formation for this battle. Once you're ready, touch ready to begin the battle. Shay, your go-to threat is shit. You can't make fun of Todd for puking. No, my go-to threat, or when I'm angry, is I'm gonna shit blood. There's a difference. The shoulder buttons actually make the text appear faster? Does it? I'll have to try that later. Make fun of Todd for being a coward. Devin is not straight. <laughs> so here's where we get into the differences with the battle system in this game and the main reason I like it so much more. This battle system is so much more fluid and interesting. Let me show you how team battling works. Three zones close to the enemy side are the attack zones. Three zones farthest are the support zones. This is the Jurassic Formation with two Beavisaurs in the front. This is the Cambrian with two Beavisaurs on the side. Tip battle using these two formations. We have higher speed, so we go first. When a team in a team battle, first attack always goes to the team with the highest total speed. A low speed Beavisaur can be team with high speed Beavisaurs to make up for a sweetness. If you have one Beavisaur in the support zone with positive effects for your guys, they get split evenly among both of your attack zone Beavisaurs. So if we don't, so normally we'd be getting six from Plesio in the back there. I think that's Plesio. Uh, but he instead he's giving three to both of them. Same thing if you have negative effects coming from your opponent's side, it would get split between your two attackers. So you can use that to lessen the the, the burden of enemy uh, effects. 
Yes, God Tutorial. Michael, this is, you see, you're joking, but this is nothing like how Pokemon works. Pokemon wishes it could be this nuanced. Um, Pokemon, Pokemon's com uh, complexity comes in, like, the, the stats and the, the types and shit, whereas this game is actually in, like, the fighting. With Pokemon, you can kind of just mash the button, it doesn't matter. I do not believe you. The fucking play Pokemon and come back to me. It's up to you to find information for yourself, not me. So I've actually split between the powers I have, blah, 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 blah. Exactly like Rotation Battles, don't believe you. This game came out before Gen 5. This game came out exactly one month before Gen 5. Rotation Battles ripping off this, and I will not be answering any further questions. Hey, <laughs> hey David, how you doing? Every Vivasaur has a range in which it is most effective. I'm not playing Pokemon on my own time. If a Vivasaur attacks an enemy with it, that it's in its effective range, it does extra damage. On the other hand, attacks from an ineffective range will not do as much damage. Check the effective range of Vivasaurs at the information icon. So remember that little star we saw before? Yeah. See the tiny arrows pointing at the enemy Vivasaurs? If a circle next to it means you're, you're, it is in your effective range. If there's an X, it means it's out of your effective range. If it's at its most effective range, it'll be a star. These marks are shown when attacks are being carried out in battle. Choose the information. Now, and also, we can rotate where our Vivasaurs are. You can rotate the whole team by selecting a sliding Vivasaur in the field. Rotation costs FP, but you'll only be charged for the number of spots moved from your original position. So, Steam Pink can actually move, you can rotate team as much as you like. Before Vivasaur attacks, considering rotating it to a range where it's most effective. So, let's say I want my boy Tricera here to be in the front. I just grab it, and we just move. And if I say, fuck it, I want to do that, it'll give us the points back. Oh, that's awesome. So we can rotate in order to fuck with where our support effects are going, what our range is. So now, the guys in the back are within Plesio's perfect range with star. So we can hit Proto there. Fossil Fire Supremacy, let's go. And then... The best part, you can attack and then rotate again. I honestly really like that. Mm hmm. So, between positioning, support effects, typing, there's a lot to take in here, unlike with like the original Fossil Fighters, where like if you got stuck in the escape zone, that was just a waste of a couple turns for that guy. But that yeah. also means there's no escape zone. Shit like poison and other status conditions are actually worth using now because the AI can't just wipe it. If you, if you get poisoned, you're taking poison damage, because I straight up think there's maybe one Vivasaur that can get rid of status conditions. Damn. I think there's straight up may maybe two. Where is the escape zone? There is no escape zone, Yoshi. You're stuck here forever. The whoop button. Quit button. Oh, quit button. That's it for the lecture. Class dismissed. So yeah, the, 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 the battle system is mostly why I think this game is way better. It seems more intuitive. It's more in-depth. And it's more in-depth at the same time. Yeah, like, I wish Pokemon had shit like this, with, like, oh, send out a few, like, because in, like, doubles, right? It's just doubles, it doesn't matter. It's, like, I wish it was, like, effective range and shit like that. That's cool, you know? Fossil Fighter shits and Pokemon's a lunch. So I'm fucking bad at buying snacks and mad myself for it. If I can grocery store one more time with main course items only, I deserve to get shot on my health. Oof. Go to the leader's office and shit in their bed. Fighter lack strategy of the viewers was, like, abilities, victory, poop, impossible. Remember that, all right? Now get out there and show me what you're made of. For orientation, you two are officially entering the cup. Your opponents will be chosen by computer. Whenever you finish a cup match, you'll be granted access to a new dig site. Almost forgot, I have your paleo pagers right here. There isn't triples? Kind of, but it's literally like the dude on one side can't hit the dude in the exact opposite corner unless you use a flying move, but it's not exactly nuanced. I want to mod in the original and give it this battle system. Bro, I would be so happy if that was a thing. So we got a paleo pager. We send news and notices out to paleo pages via the fossil messaging system, or FOOMS! Probably a mod in there, maybe. I don't, I, don't know how, I don't know how many people are bothering to ROM hack fossil fighters, that's a thing. How about war battles? You throw your entire team out at once? Dude, that's gonna be a thing by Gen 11, I guarantee it. This is an important public service announcement from the Caliostio Fossil Park. The, the cup opening ceremony will be kicking off shortly. All interest parties should meet in front of the fighter station. Beep, boop, beep. That's my cue, good luck, you two. The opening ceremony is gonna be awesome. Maybe Joe will show up. I'm just gonna save real quick. 
Yeah, again, sorry it's gonna be a lot of tutorial shit, because, you know, beginning of RPG. I almost missed my station being distraught. There's no easy. <laughs> Yoshi, what are you doing? Also, you're on a train. Where are you going? Probably home. The <laughs> poor bastard. I mean, there's not really trains up here. No. Or buses. There's just hills. There is in, like, cities, but not around here. In, in the capital, but that's it. Yeah. At least I was stuck already. You gotta feed me. The only cure is more digging. Whoa. Oh my god, I'm excited. Someone's flying this way. Home just got off. Oh, nice. nice. Welcome to Callus State, the place where dreams are made. Yeah, I can't make this go any slower. I'm the owner of this here park. My name is Joe Wild West. Your fighters love it here. And we got three islands to explore. Now get ready for a surprise. Is that in you, Yasha? Because I want all y'all to know that. The cup champion will get my part. What in the Willy Wonka? You'll own her free and clear. Yeah, whoever wins the tournament gets the entire park. Okay, Willy Wonka. So let's get the battle in, folks. America. The Calisteo Cup is now open. What the fuck? America rejects public transportation. We bust all our technical cities. Lab, Manch, maybe Concord, maybe Concord. There is a bus in Concord. I love being in the city. The only place I can stare down a car while <laughs> jaywalking, make eye contact, they won't hit me knowing I'll get their wallet. <laughs> Man, just seeing Joe's face on awesome video display was so exciting. But seriously, the cup's grand prize in the entire fossil park. My mind is completely blown. This is a huge pick, so we have to find a way to win no matter what. Hello, Todd. Pixel, the cup is finally underway. Oh, hey, Stella. Why aren't you two off digging fossil rocks today? You should receive a message in the paleo pages by now. First dig site, Treasure Lake, is now open on Rebular Island. Treasure Lake is ranked by thick woods in the middle of which sits a lake. No shit. Ooh, it's 10. Yo. Talking about the airport shuttle show? Boba, please be open. <laughs> Fighters are urged to travel there and ready themselves for the round one of the cup. No, I was talking about the Concord coach, Michael. We're going to do this. Everyone's gone. Damn. Everyone's gone. We, we, got, uh, we got left behind. Treasure Lake is through that walkway there. Come on, let's go for all the fossil rocks are gone. You know, I'm actually shocked Joe would do something like that. None of the staff knew he was putting up the park as a prize. Not even I did. No, oh, they close at nine now. Rip. But I suppose we have bigger things to worry about, huh? That's well, the worst. Good luck, I'm sorry, Pixel. Man. Yeah, so Joe didn't let anyone know that he was giving away the park. He just did that without telling anybody. Okay. Oh. I took Concord Coach to New Hampshire and back last time. I would, part of me wants to, like, obviously this is going to be months and months and months from now when we're settled and actually have fucking money again, mm -hmm. um, but I do want to go on a Concord Coach trip down to Boston and, like, go to the, the museums and stuff. Concord Coach is the airport shuttles? Yeah, bring you to Logan Airport. Huh. So, Todd didn't, uh, grab a fossil radar. No, he didn't. Stupid fossil rocks, where the hell are you? You won't find anything without a fossil seminar. Here, this should make life easier. I tried to give it to you earlier, but you shoved past me and ran off. But that's okay. I know you're just excited about the cup. Eeh, yerg. I, I don't know why he says yerg. 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 Let me show you how sonar works. It's the same as before. You press the shoulder buttons and it'll scan the area for rocks. And it's very fucking tiny because we have none of the upgrades. Annoyed babysitting. Who the fuck are you babysitting? Work today wasn't bad, but I wish that guy showed up I covered for. Oof. Todd does not need a radar. He rejects modernity. So you find a little blip. You swing your pickaxe. Tommy needs to slow down. Tommy doesn't need to slow down. Fucking red. Hmm. I was paid back up. If that guy showed up, they wouldn't send me home for four hours. Pay for free. Hmm. What false rock found? You're natural at this. Now, if you dig a false rock that you haven't yet revived, you won't know what's inside it. So, since it's killing you, just run back to the fire station and clean it. Pretty go excavating. 
Blah, blah, blah. It's the same as before. Find fossil rocks, get dino. Yeah. So, Treasure Lake's Vivasaur selection actually changes. The fossils of whatever starter you pick will be available in Treasure Lake. The others that you did not pick will be put into a jig site much... Well, not... I say much later. It's like about halfway through the game, I believe, is when you get access to, um... I think it's Hot Spring Heights. Okay. But no, none of that for now. We got fossils to find. Todd uses wind beavisaur to sniff the wind to find it. So how much inventory space do you have? Without upgrades? Nope, that's not good. The war hammer for the first time, motherfucker was really... It was really hair, I thought it was just saying, not literally hair. Just a s- oh. Thought it was just a s- You thought hair nets weren't real? Uh, eight. Oof. But we can upgrade it, remember. Yeah. And eventually we can hold like fucking a hundred or something. And also, let me get back up top to get a little bit of better visual. Oh, that fucking thing. I didn't know it was made of hair. Hair nuts are not made of hair. They're not. They're just to hold your hair. I want to revive the I big thought one. it was a net to hold a hair. It, it is. is. It is. It is, Yoshi. This is the, My buddy. This is the Bonehead Hollow. I believe you can find different fossils in here, but obviously it's a very small area, so it should just as a spawn. I think you find tar Yeah, I think, yeah, I was going to say, I think it's Tarbo. Bro, mine was then you need to, like, stop going where the fuck you were going, because they're obviously psychopaths. Yeah. Hair nuts are not made out of hair. Is Tarbo or Shan Chan? Oh, it might be Shan Chan, actually. It was brown hair as a hair nut. Are you sure it just wasn't colored brown to, like, blend in? Sometimes we dig up a fossil rock, it'll get challenged to a fossil battle. You have to accept it to get the Yep, prize. if you say no, they run away with it. So uh, now we actually get to see one of the new Vivasaurs introduced in this game. This game introduced, I believe, 50 Vivasaurs that are actually based on dinosaurs. And then there's some other ones that we'll get into later. Uh, this is Raja. I like him. Or Raja? I don't know. He's Probably an Earth type. Probably Raja. He's an Earth type. Either way, it's only the head. Fair enough. Guys, how do you make pasta? Flour, egg yolks, you... No, pasta, boiling water. Well, no, it depends, because if you're making homemade pasta, then you get a couple cups of flour, usually four to five egg yolks, you make a well with the flour, so, and then you, like, mix it in. But if you're talking about just cooking raw pasta noodles, you would get a pot of water, like clean water. Yeah, just boil water and then throw it you in. You would for a boil bit. it on the oh, stove. Okay, you are almost dead. Um, Tricera has an ability called Parting Blow. When he's almost dead, he uh, does more damage. Oof. Fifty for total, one fifty not counting. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. There we go. Are there cool foreign Viva Swords at least? Oh, for sure. Um, that extra save file that I have. Um, has every Vivasaur on it. <laughs> so either way, we'll get to see all of them, no matter what. Gotta rank up. Shay, I love your energy, but I was not asking how to scratch make pasta. That's fair. So Eros also has Parting Blow, and now we just learned Eros Alert. And in this game, we can actually just see the animations wherever we want. So I can just hit a button and load up an animation. That's cool. Hey, Beanie. Whatever you do, don't break the pasta. Just throw the pasta in, it'll get soft and fall into the pot on its own. If you break pasta, I will break you. Thank you. I'll make sure to look at you directly in the eyes as I snap the sketty. Immediate divorce. We're not even married. Mm -hmm. What? Break the pasta, I'll fucking end you by the four in like the first game, in the first game's post game. Oh, the... Some of them will... Okay, you know what? That's actually a good segue. All the Vivasaurs from the first game are in this game, except for Gunash's brains. For obvious reasons. Um, technically, the Dunarians are not in the game if you don't have DLC. But we do, technically. 
mean, you strike the town with cooking pasta, the slap piece on a wall. If it sticks, you're good. Just eat a piece soft. Google's cool. Yeah, literally. Oh, there's another. I believe there's another new one. Uh, Thala Thalasso? He's weird looking. He's a little guy. No brains. No brains. But those are the only ones we're missing. And honestly, yeah, it kind of makes sense why we don't have them from like a story perspective. I like the dinos talking. Oh, yes. Um... I believe their names are Tyranno and Trip Sarah. They provide they provide commentary. I want to say it, but it's banned, and I know you know what I want to say. No, Michael. Michael, don't fucking entice riots in chat. Me and guys told me being a doll, no problem. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, I gotta look out for each other. Hi, baby. Oh, my big child. I mean, yeah, there's, I mean, true, but you won't see it, Michael. Nobody will. Oh, that word? See, I don't even know what the hell you're talking about now. Nope. Please put the board down. Because I would like you to put the boy down. Bab, I have to be talking to the damn microphone and he is louder than us. A certain word. Oh, right, right. No, I'm pretty sure I unbanned the term dig a dussy or whatever the fuck it was. He bans it and forgets it. Missile knows. So let's go clean some fossils. Well, Pixel, what perfect timing you have. We just finished readying everyone's favorite fossil cleaning partner. Say hello to KL33N. It's the lad. Pleased to meet you. Beep. I am KL33N at your service. Oh, the Denussi, but that too. Him. Please speak Please speak to me if you wish to clean your fossil rocks. Beep. Please. You may trust me with the storage and reviving of even your most precious fossils. You kept digging. Does your move dig on its band? Oh, I mean, whatever. You don't need it. I'm not yet capable of cleaning on my own, but if I observe you doing so, I can gain that ability as well. So it works basically the same as it did in the first game. Where he will watch you clean fossil, then he can have a clean ship for you. And we have access to the donation points right from the start. Yay. If you successfully clean a fossil you already own, you score lower than before, it won't be integrated, so the fossil is donated. Even fossils that seem useless have some value once you get a few donation points, talk to the attendant, see what she can do for you. Once you get more Vivasaurs, you can organize them into teams with the little machine there. Blah, blah, blah. Why the fuck Clean look like that? Uh, he's, he's angry. He got claws now. He looks so much worse, what the hell. I think he's fine. He's gonna grab you. He's got little grabbers. He's going to obtain your bones. He's gonna clean your rocks. Thank you, Stella. So, just for the sake of showing this off, the donation point lady has different prizes than in the first game. Don't ask what that is, I'm not explaining it right now. We can buy masks. On that note, I'm out of here. Alright, good night, Michael. Thanks for coming good night. by. We can obtain masks. The yellow, green, blue, and pink masks, I believe these make it so you have a better chance or make it actually guaranteed that you dig up earth, wind, water, and neutral attribute Viva source. 100 DP each. I'm blind for champions. Oh, dude, you're in for a good fucking time. I looked up the boy and got this. Stand name clean machine. Oh, I love him. We can buy XP. This will go to the entire uh, active party. 100 points is just a level up. Because nice. remember, it's always 100 points for a level up. So, granted, you need a lot. It would, but like, you can just buy that if you want. And for the fossil rocks, feel free to browse if you want. We have Lambio who is a fire Vivasaur from the last game. He's got some healing skills. Spinax, the boy. <gasps> the boy. 
Daspleto, I believe he was the... He was definitely in the first game, If I, I, I think he was. And Spino. So, you know, arguably not as good. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Spinax. But it's like, you know, the last donation point place you could get fucking Compso, and Compso was broken. Let's clean. Feel when I made it home 10 minutes ago, I'm just staying outside because inside, honestly, just too stressful. I feel that, bro. I'm sorry, man. I feel that. It's like when I took that hike yesterday to just go look at mushrooms and, like, Ooh. jiggle moss. So that's a new thing in this game, breakpoints. If you hit a breakpoint, you just get a ton of the fossil deleted, or a ton of the rock deleted for free. That's awesome. I believe that's pretty much random. I was not expecting that to come up so soon. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, but like, I only had a limited amount of time to tap the thing. You have to be using your hammer to hit a break point. You can't do break points with a drill. No, you're fine. Does not happen super often, but it is nice when it does. I gave you smooch. Thank you, Babu. I'm sorry. I am. You're very focused on dinosaurs. Yes. The Robo Dentist. I used to have a giant plastic dinosaur. It was this kind. Really rather grander. Kind of like that, I guess. Yeah. It, you can ignore it if you want. If you, if I let that circle like get all the way dissipated, um, it would just go away. Makes you only find... What? It makes so you only find he was you could... F what are you trying to say, Titan? It makes it so only... You only find... Anyway, Pacro! New Beavisaur. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Oh, he's too cute! Pacro is another supporty Healy one. Pacro! Aww. It's the one move is a mother's slap. I mean. Yeah, I have been there. Let's keep cleaning. Sorry, let me know if my yarn's in the way. You're good. <gasps> it's another head. So typing one message, then change, and you forget to delete the last one. Oh, okay. I thought I was having a stroke, bud. Oh. It makes it so you can find Viva Swords you'd only be able to find in BB Base. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, for this game, they definitely went out of their way to make it so, like, some shit you would almost never see in the first game, you will see in this one, which I appreciate. Yeah. Especially because, you know... I don't want to say they only added 50, but it's like when you're used to Pokemon, that adds like, you know. I mean, I guess nowadays only adding 50 for Pokemon would probably be about what they would do. But. I honestly really love that. LF for noise. 10 seconds, how do you just. Okay, so sometimes when you're cleaning a fossil, you'll hit a breakpoint, and if you tap that uh, with good timing, it just gone. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Hey. I didn't mean to interrupt you, what were you saying? I was just talking about moss. Yeah, my mood didn't mean to interrupt you. Because it was, Yoshi was saying it was stressful inside. I was like, yeah, I went for a walk yesterday, squished some moss. I, I feel that. There's the lasso. Place the lasso as a support, support roll. Take advantage of its FP plus ability. So he'll give you more FP. We should get Spinex. That will take a lot of points, and we already have arrows. I'm like trying to fight me, SMH. Fight him back. Start swinging. Yeah, the breakpoints are nice. Um, I certain fossils will not have them if memory serves. So like, you can't just like. Some fossils you gotta you gotta do it the hard way, but it just be how it be. Once again, for anyone who is unfamiliar, usually that dust that accumulates, you need to blow into the microphone to get rid of it. Um, however, because we're using solder on equipment, I can just press a little button, 
and I don't have to blow your guys' eardrums out by blowing into the fucking microphone directly. That being said, it is quite satisfying to blow into the microphone and watch all the dust go away. When you break a fossil, its innards are now purple instead of green, like in the original. I don't know why they changed that. It doesn't bother me or anything, I just don't know why they felt the need to change it. Then again, I guess I don't know why it was green in the first place. Jameson used to be a pro blower back in the day. Oh, bro, I still am. I was about to say. So. Doing this with a mouse is a little more annoying than with a key to an actual stylus, but that works. Jameson, you should consume the entire mic right here, right now. Bothers me immensely. Purple and brown look the same sometimes for me. Fuck. Oh, yeah, no, I didn't. Yeah, that would probably be annoying for, for you. I'm sorry, but I didn't. That is something I wouldn't have even thought of. Does this have the ruby fossils too? The red bone fossils? Yes. We will not be seeing them for a while, probably, but those are still in the game. There's, the lad. there's Raja. Raja? I don't know. Raja is actually pretty damn good. I'm pretty sure it's Raja. If you get Raja up high enough level he will learn charge which is basically skip this turn next turn you do a shit ton more damage Ooh, nice makes more sense than green i guess i mean sort of yeah but i mean you have a good point though green stands out a lot more the babies have awoken fantastic how are the babies good Give me a baby update. Ultra Instinct Unicorn T Rex. Hi, hey, Dust. Hi, Dust. Hey, Dust. How you I doing, bud? Druid. Using Roger's charge, I did over a thousand damage once. Yeah, I believe that. Holy shit. Charge can, uh. Charge can fucking destroy shit just on its own. A lot of the early game Viva in this game actually aren't bad. Like. You could be you could honestly pretty comfortably beat the game with like <clears throat> your starter, Tricera, and Raja. Like, honestly. Oh right, this fossil pattern makes me uncomfy. Yeah, no, I don't like the one with the holes either, but gotta be done. At least it's not a soft fossil. That's still a thing in this game, by the way. With no visual indicator of if it's soft or not, just learn which ones are soft. One of these days, I'm gonna miss you to let me make you an overlay. Don't need it, bud. But I appreciate it. We got Tricera's body. Please. Increased amount of FP you get, but didn't increase the cost of OG booster skills, making them pretty pog. Yeah. And it's nice to see the old shit um, still be good. Champions. So now we have a uh, Tricera combo, which can cause 50% uh, of the time it forces uh, the opponent to rotate. Rotate? Like, you know, move their Vivasaurs around. I know, but it just sounds funny. Overlays? We don't... Uh, fuck the overlays, dude. It just gets in the way. We don't need it. We got game and voice and chat. I should stream again. I had a sweet overlay. You should stream. It's a good time. This skull shape makes me nervous. Why? There's a certain Vivasaur that was introduced in this game that I believe uses this skull type, and I'm not looking forward to seeing it. I'm not good at talking, there's no one to talk to. That's fair. That's kind of the reason Shay and I do this together. You guys hear how quickly we deteriorate if one of us has to go use the bathroom or something? It's not great. I'm sorry, man. He's in the next zone, I believe. Oh, fantastic. I'm glad Titan knows exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> that bad, huh? Um, it's not... Well, okay, it is. It's just... You'll see. 
I talk to myself all the time. Yeah, same. Sometimes no one else is gonna listen, you know? Bro, you deteriorate when you're both in the room sometimes. She has a solid point, actually. Menchi. Which one was Menchi? Oh, it was a fire type, so that's good. We don't have a fire type yet. Watermelon. Minch. Was he not? He's not. Oh no, he's one of these. He's a little ugly, but he kind of just looks like a weird Sunday. Hmm. Menchi has solar power. His power doubles if he's the only one in the field on his side. Hmm. So it's kind of, so, you know, if you're down to just one dude, you have a bit of a comeback chance. Redhead stepchild. A realization occurs. What's up, bud? I have hacked 3DS and I could just play this. You could. You yep. should. Long, Mincy and his wrecking ball tail. Long range Titanic solo Chad. Fuck yeah. So he's just explaining how the fucking inventory system works. You've got nuts or balls. I don't know what those were. Uh, blue things? Sapphires? Question, should I play the first? Okay, here's the thing. The first is quite a good game. And part of me wants to say play the first so you can appreciate the improvements this game made, but at the same time, if like you're strapped for time, this game's just better. Like, of course, I'm gonna tell you to play both because I'm a Fossil Fighters fan. I want more people to play these in general, but. I feel like they have a lot of potential. Like, as much as I make fun of them, I feel like it definitely has great potential. You don't need I feel yeah. like I would play both games. Yeah, I agree. You don't need to, but it's pretty good. So it's like Coliseum and XD. Kinda, yeah. Honestly. So I'm just gonna sell the rocks that we don't need. Unfortunately, they only sell for like a hundred, but... Since we're an hour in. What's up, Drew? You know what time it is? What? They didn't tell Frontier Road anything. Really. Are, are we done yet? Go kill yourself, Drew. And... No! No! It... In game, in game. So we can buy fossil rocks. They're usually pretty damn expensive. Dunkle. 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 So you know you might notice this just says dunkle without any parts. Yep. Some fossils contain the entire skeleton. So that would be worth it then, I think. Maybe. Dunkle. Dunkle, hello. Old uncle. So we have upgrades. We can upgrade our sonar. And I'm gonna do that just so it's a, just a bigger fucking range. Not our inventory? Uh, nah. Honestly, it's not a huge deal right now. I'll assume his last name is his last name is Snaz. Dunkle Snaz? Good old Dunkle Snaz. We'll see Dunkle later, I promise. Dunkle. Dunkle! I, I want you to play Frontier and stream so I can watch you act how bad it is. I've thought about it. Uh, I've thought about it. <sighs> Maybe. Excuse me. What do you got here, Droob? <laughs> it's me, your Dunkle Sands. Damn. Right, let's swap out the party a bit here. So what I like to do is usually try to have, like, one of every element if I can. Obviously, we don't have any neutrals yet. I think I'll just grab uh, the lasso because FP plus could be good. Entirely inaccurate. Snans would, Snans would wear Crocs. Good old Dunkle Snans. Crocs. Why? They're cute. <laughs> now you're praising this battle system? Yeah. And I will continue to do so. Frontier completely scraps it. You know, Frontier is like trying to be a tactical RPG, isn't it? Or something stupid. Ooh, he's so 
dreamy, all mysterious and smoldering and stuff. Ah, uh, shit, I didn't expect to him to be in the cup. That's gonna make it hard to win, that's for sure. You only get one Vivasaur and stuck with two AIs you can't control. Never mind, not playing it. Hey, Pixel, did you hear? Rupert entered the cup. That's right, THE Rupert. Rupert? Rupert. He was about to start a TV interview with Rupert now. I feel like this is going to be this game's version convincing you to not play Gates. I mean, yeah. Good morning, I'm Linda R. Porter, reporting for Calia Steel TV. With the Castillo Cup underway, we have exclusive interview with one of the fighters. This undefeated child prodigy is on a stunning run of victories across multiple fossil fighting tournaments. There's just more of these going on somewhere, apparently. Of course. He's also the heir to the multinational corporation that produces a wide range of goods for fighters. He's the Prince of Fossil Dig Incorporated and talk of every fighter in town. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to Rupert! Rupert. Did someone... It's in Yuyasha. Did someone request the douchey rival character? Our fucking porter. Yeah, Dusk, th this is the entire game, bud. Also, you drive cars for some reason. Yeah, no, don't worry about it. Rupert, let's get straight to Do you feel confident about winning the Castillo Cup? Oh, yes, quite. There's little point in entering competition one does not expect to win. Spoken like a true champion, there's little doubt this young competitor has s sipped off from the cup of victory. The other fighters say as much when I accuse him of hubris, but from Rupert, it is fact. This title come to him as have all the others, while a new hero emerge to challenge the boy genius. One thing is clear, all eyes will be on the Cali the cup. It's Phoenix right all over again. We've been asked by organized to pass a mention on to our viewers. Despite his fame, at the end of the day, Rupert is still a competitor entered in the cup. Though he may, may be spent by his roguish charm, please not mob him or try to steal locks of his hair. What the fuck? Any entrance found be annoying Rupert in such a manner may be subject to disqualification. And that's all the time we got for Castillo TV. This is Linda R. Porter saying good day and good fortune. I see Pegasus has finally made his move on Kaipa. Don't say that. God damn it. I mean, the character Cuppy would be horny for. I don't know how old Rupert is, but the answer is not old enough. Idiocy. Oh, I like chase after Rupert and see if he's real all that. I bet she's a bitch off camera, 100%. Hey, yeah, they said not to annoy him, but they say we couldn't challenge him in a battle. Sweet, I'm going for it. Wish me luck. So as you can see, our sonar's a little bit bigger now. My grinder's missing. Sometimes it'll be a normal rock. We can get an upgrade to eliminate the normal rocks later. Seems like Uncle's stealing my shit again. Go kill him. We got a jewel rock. If we clean that, they'll not have a fossil in it. They'll have a gem, which is basically just there for selling. We don't get money from beating other fossil fighters, so that's kind of just the way you get money. Which I st is still weird to me. I feel like if I if I was gonna like if I was ever put in charge of like a hypothetical like new fossil fighters game, I'd be like, just make it so we get money drops from like beating other characters. You know what I mean? Yeah. Seems weird to not have that. It's not a big deal, you, you're you rolling in fucking money in these games. Like you saw from the first game. Mm. Money was basically never an issue from my, what I remember. Oops, sorry Todd. I almost just took your fucking head in. Hey, what do you say me and you have a good old fashioned fossil battle? You know that excited feeling you get when you meet a tough fighter? Well, I have it. You like fossil battles and you know that feeling, so let's have some fun. Murder dogs. <laughs> you already get in the spirit, Dusk. Please go amuse yourself elsewhere. I don't have time to waste on the likes of you. Let's have fun and excited feelings. Such disgusting tr treacle? Is that a word? Is enough to make my porridge come up. Frankly, what is up with the vomit? Fr <laughs> <laughs> Frankly, I abhor having to associate with fighters such as yourself. If you wish to face me a false battle, you must win your way to my standing in the tournament. Of course, there's no chance of that happening. Now run along and take your sad Vivasaurs with you. D d fuck you, man. You don't have any idea how talented I am. You're just chicken. Fuck. Jameson, we need to learn to code so we can make a spiritual successor. Yeah, let me get right on that, bud. <laughs> if I could, bro, I would, a thousand percent. You, deem sa you demand satisfaction, do you? Very well. It will keep you from stalking me in the future. Once I show you the truth I was about his liking, run home and tell mommy all about it. Treacle is a word that means cloying, sedimentality, or flattery. I also abhor Todd. I see the problem. Treckle. British. Wow. Oh, is, is Rupert supposed to be British? <laughs> this entire time, I'm like, wait, is Rupert supposed to be British? Hmm. 
I draw horrible models for a false footage successor. Oh, please. That, um, ugly looking motherfucker behind Raja is Mappo. Uh, I like him. He's basically a water T Rex in terms of stats. How'd you not just assume that by default? I don't know, dude. So this is basically, Todd getting his ass kicked is basically just to give you a tutorial of the types. So I'm going to mash over the text because it's a tutorial about types. I can explain it in eight fucking seconds, which is going to take them 13 paragraphs. Um, one of those secret games success of the aliens. Oh look, Todd ate shit. I'm so shocked. So in this game, there are five elements. Each Vivasaur can only be one element. Fire is super effective on earth, which is super effective on air, which is super effective on water, which is super effective on fire. Neutral is completely removed from the type chart. Neutral does not do super effective damage to anything, but also does not take super effective damage from anything. The little colored doodad there will show you if you're going to be hitting for regular damage, super effective damage, blah, blah, blah. Be more willing to help design a combat system, bro. I would literally just rip it from this game, honestly. They could just put the picture in no text. Yeah, literally. Yeah, say good day, sir. Ugh. Lost plenty of times. Whenever this angry about it, that's a pixel. We have to win our way through the cup together. We have to take down the Rupert jerk, no matter what. Beep 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 beep. Incoming FMS message. Round one of the Castilla Cup will begin. Todd's opponent will be Pixel. Well, so much for doing this together. Prepare yourselves before checking into Ribular Town's Fossil Stadium. Oh. So you're my round one opponent. Aw, oh, man. I was hoping to face you in the final. Stupid computer. Type line this doesn't make sense. At least I can sit I drew it. I have no problem understanding. I don't know what your issue is, but there's nothing we can do about it. Pixel, have to fight as hard as we can. Until round one match is done, I'm going to think you use an enemy. Gonna... Get fucked, Todd. <laughs> I miss useless Susie. I'm gonna fall about you hard. I mean, crazy hard. To be fair, United States think that your doors yet Bugfable shows are still room for improvement. Right, but like, I'm not as smart as the people who made Bug Fables, so like, I don't know where I'd improve it. Maybe make it so like Pokemon, like they can learn moves outside of their type for like type coverage type shit. But then at that point, I feel like we might be going leaning too close into Pokemon. Todd makes Susie look like an amazing companion. <laughs> to be fair, ain't like Pokemon doesn't have a good thing going. That's very true. That is very true. Alright, so I think we're gonna clean some fossils, probably have to take intermission right after that, and then we'll go kick the shit out of Todd. How's that sound? Sweet. Let me fuck up the fossil like Pokemon. I want to give a T-Rex huge arms. Absolutely not. I must have gotten word that round one of the Castilla Cup is underway. Let me quickly explain how you compete in the cup, all right? Wait for a notice to appear in your penalty page when you get the word. Let's go through the door to the left of the reception counter. Simple. All right, one thing I would have, actually... Um... Yeah, I was going to say... One thing Frontier does that I know for a fact is... The Vivasaurs will have more than, like, four moves, and then you can switch them in and out. I think that would be good. I think, like, giving them more movesets and, sh like, just more moves would be the way to go. So that yeah. way you can get a bit more utility. So we got a pearl. I mean, that's good. I feel like when I play this game, I spend half the time analyzing this game's design. There's three games, unfortunately. If I throw a bucket of dirt on a campfire, a fire goes out. If I put a burning stick into a pile of dirt, the stick is going to run out of fuel and go out. Like scorched earth. How does fire beat earth? Like scorched earth. Or like burning plants and shit, you know? It's 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 earth, not not ground. Listen, man, fire to be super effective against something, okay? A 
Okay, but if you scorch the earth, Jameson, you burn it all out. Yes, oh. But the dirt is still there. There's three games in the same way there's four mystery dungeons. Hmm. So Jane said Bill Beavers are two Yeah, I mean, that could work, yeah. I mean, it's still gross shit there. I mean... I, I don't think it's that big of a stretch in logic, honestly. Could add more types. True, could add more types. Do you add them into the rotation? You just have like a complete second rotation and then like they don't interact with each other. This game does give you a bit of an ability to uh, spec your stats a bit in your Vivasaurs, but it is, um, it's not by a ton. So like fleshing out that more would also be something that could be very good. Dirt is fine. In fact, it'll benefit from the burnout because the plants have been broken down and new growth can flourish. Forests are covered from fires all the time. Yeah, but also sometimes they don't. Some fires, you throw water on it and it gets worse, you know? That's how it is. Well, okay, I didn't do ground that one, but... Oh, that's Eros' body, so I'm gonna have to do that one again if I have another one. Simulate the fossilized dinosaurs of drastically different environment until it adapts and has new perks. Hmm. Could work. Ice beats water, beats fire, beats plant, beats earth. Maybe, yeah. Only thing I'd 100% change from what I've seen is making the pickaxe a bit faster and more responsive. Yeah. The, this game, I don't want to say this game is, like, laggy or anything, but, like, some shit about this game, they could definitely have sped it up. Because, like, it's, the, the speed is intentional. It's not, like, lag. I'm also going to apologize if you guys can hear, like, the clicking. The silent mouse we had for the first one no longer fucking works, and I can't really afford to go get another one. It's a good clicking. Again, this was on the DS. Yeah. I Honestly, I bet if you used your hacked 3DS dust to do some, like, uncapping shit, you, or, like, change a few things, you could probably make it fine. So it's just, it's just a long animation, yeah. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it's literally, like, doing that to disguise it, loading what rock it's gonna be. Yeah. Can only cap the FPS on- oh, that's fair, yeah, there's- I can guarantee you there's not a lot of hacking going on for the fucking game. I cannot wait to have the upgraded tools again. Again, doing this, like, I'm not trying to cover up my own shit abilities here. Doing this with an actual stylus is way easier than doing this on a mouse, in my opinion. Make a nose type solely for that one guy named Snibbles. Oh, God. Why'd you made me remind him? Remind me of him. He's, he's not in this game, don't worry. So when you do a body part with a higher score than before, it gets replaced and you get uh, the difference as points. Till the exact moment in all these excavations when Jameson stops giving a fuck. <laughs> Listen, dude, you can only be so careful. Eventually, trying to be careful is going to fuck you up more. Because then you're just dealing with dirt. I thought it was easier with the mouse. I, it's probably just because I'm used to it, honestly. It also might be because I have to, like, hold my arms weird, like, around our entire setup. Well, not, like, around the entire setup, but it's like I'm trying not to bump the microphone or anything, you know? And I was trying to keep a normal distance from the microphone while I'm, like, focused on something else. Fuck. Never had a stylus, I always use my finger. An acceptable substitution. Which has a move, sorry, imagine getting a new spine and getting stronger. That's literally what I need. Bro, same. Same. 
I have a fucking, I have a bad tailbone and all day today, like my entire right leg was like, man, wouldn't it be great if I didn't exist? I'm sorry, Dad. Do Not, you want me to rub your back later? No, it's cool. I feel fine now. I don't know if it's because like the weather was weird or if I slept weird or, or something, but like my tailbone just don't work too good. I got a bad butt bone. As it turns out, there are cheat codes on limited FPS in certain games, like Game Shark codes. Huh. Honestly, you probably wouldn't need it, because like you said, it's just a it's just a slow animation. Yeah. I like it would be Ooh. like a, I could be like a fucking old school Venusaur. Whoa. See that's another thing, the breakpoints. It takes me an extra second to respond to it with a mouse because I gotta like drag it over instead of just picking up a stylus and tapping it at a different spot, you know? Yeah. There we go. You get 100% on it? Uh, 99, I think. Oh my god. Yep. I could be a fucking old school viewer, so give me a new spine. I learned some new move called confidence. Hey, look, it's Goyle! <gasps> Goyle! So we got Goyle back Goyle. from the old game. Do you remember which one Goyle was? I just remember it. He was the purple and red one you liked. Purple one. <gasps> Goyle! Yay. Yeah. Fucking love Goyle. Goyle's not bad. Plot in the hypothetical falsifiers clone. We go stupider, right? Oh, 100%. We gotta bring back the aliens. That... That is a Yu-Gi-Oh monster. Oh, Dusk, Dusk. My, my man, my, my bestest buddy, Dusk. You have, you wait until we get later in this fucking game, bro. You wanna see Yu-Gi-Oh monsters? This shit's about to get fucking Duelist Kingdom on you. Like, I'm not even kidding. Understood. And yes, before you ask, that does include the Toon Monsters. No, I will not elaborate. Yo, was that Genesec Spine? <laughs> the Genesec baby, let's go! Angry Axe Raider, finally. Wait until the plot picks up. Yeah, wait until this game decides it's not fucking around anymore. <laughs> I, I think I made this comparison in the original Fossil Fighters Let's Play, but um, these games do kind of remind me of Earthbound, mm. where like it'll be like goofy shit, and, like, and then all of a sudden you're like, well, that's awful. Oh, hey, an emerald. I expect Castle of Dark Illusion on my screen by Thursday. I'll see what I can do. Thanks for remember Goyle Body Shape of My Childhood. That's kind of sad. <laughs> Yeah, man, I remember most of these. You're good. You were good to go for a full screen, right? Yes. Okay, good. Let me go sell these gems, yeah, and then we'll take a break. Because Food Pantry can't be this week. It's like in a week and a half. So I don't have to get up early. I just get up for work. Cool. Thank you for being a loser too. Anytime, Yosh. I remember there being a demo of either this or the second game at Kmart. It was probably the first one. Honestly. I feel like the first one had demos and shit and then this one kind of just came out. I, um... I remember finding out this game existed purely because, um, I had a Gamefly account. Damn. And, I, and I was scrolling through shit and I'm like, they made a second Falsifiers game?! I'm struggling not to spoil this game's insanity. <laughs> Hold your tongue tight and it'll be worth it. Oh, sweet. Now we can get the 16 slot case. We have just enough. Sweet. Yeah, honestly, getting the increase, get the increased screen, get the, the slot case, and then you can just start carrying, like, stacks of jewel rocks and then like like if you wanted to you could in theory grind this out like the first area you don't need to yeah 
All right, we're gonna take a quick break so we can stretch our legs and all that. You know, Gamefly still exists. Gamefly does still exist. And you can get, like, old games and shit off of it, too. Damn. I remember when I found out about it and having to go to a different city to get it? I... Where the hell did I even get mine? I might have just... No, because I had the box for mine. I think I got mine at Walmart, like, after I knew it actually existed. I feel like Champions had advertisements. I think I remember seeing one. I remember commercials for the first one. But... Anywho, we're going to take a quick break. Um, so y'all grab yourselves a drink or a snack or something. Uh, stretch your legs, and we will return in just a couple minutes. Don't go anywhere. Don't touch that dial. Just sit back, relax, and, uh... Vibe. Vibe. <laughs> 